Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, please like, subscribe and share. Um, today's um, video is, I'm sharing it with you because I got caught out. I love a bargain. I simply love a bargain. If I have to pay full price for something, I am not buying it. I wait for the sales or I wait until um, I can see it elsewhere. Normally at TK Maxx, I can get, you know, especially like I like Lancome makeup. So normally what I do is I'll go to TK Maxx, see if they've got the shade that I want. If they don't, I'll go online. <clears throat> so um, last year I got my Lancome stick and it cost £26 and I think I got it through eBay either eBay or John Lewis, one of the two. Anyway, no, that wasn't it. The first time I got it, I got it for TK Maxx and it was £10.99. And I didn't realise it was so expensive in the shop. So I only bought one. Anyway, when I went to order it, um, after it finished, it was £26.99. I'm like, bloody hell, that's a lot of money. So then I got it on eBay and I think I got it on eBay at that time for fifteen ninety nine, And I thought, okay, it's a bit more, but it's better than, you know, 26 or that much more. So then I decided later on, there was some, some noise that distracted me just then. So then I decided to, um, when that one finished, because this is like my second year now, when that one finished, I thought, well, I'm going to get it this year. When I went to look for it, eBay didn't have any, TK Maxx didn't have any. So I went online and I thought, you know, I tried John Lewis, it was 20, no, I put in a search for it, the, the name, the colour, it came up with John Lewis, it came up with the Lancome shop, 26 99 I'm like, do I really want to pay 26 99 for this thing? Anyway, I thought, nah, let me look around. So I ended up finding what I wanted for 18 99 and I had literally searched the whole web. And I thought, well, eighteen ninety nine, at least it's better than John Lewis's twenty six ninety nine. And then I'd have to pay postage on top of that. And um, and with this one, even though I've paid postage, it still wouldn't be as much as twenty six ninety nine. So where am I going with this? So I ordered two because I thought I don't want to wait until next year and it goes up to £36. So I bought two and for two it cost me £36. Sent it off, got the notification it had been dispatched, thought great. Then about three days ago, three days afterwards, it said it was going to be delivered between two and three days. Because sometimes when you see these bargains, you have to be careful that they're not coming from China and then it's going to take weeks for it to arrive. Even though that sometimes they have warehouses in the UK, but most of the times, you know, it kind of says, you know, three or four weeks. So, you know, it's coming from abroad. This one said two to three days. So I thought, great. About three days later, I get a customs form through my door. £16.80. I was so peed off. I should have bought it from John Lewis. Because look how much more I had to pay for them. £16.80, I paid £36 and another nearly 20 quid, £56. I wasn't a happy camper and I'm not a happy camper. It's supposed to be coming tomorrow. But, you know, it's just so annoying. So sometimes all I'm trying to say to you is when you see these bargains, you have to be really careful. This company had net. Normally what I'm looking for, I'm looking for how long it takes to deliver and I'm making sure it's got HTTPS in the browser bar because then you know it's an authentic company. But, you know, once I saw the three days, it didn't occur to me to then say, OK, I'm going to check to see where it's coming from. It's coming from bloody Sweden. And even then, £16.80, £8.50 handling charge and, yeah, an £8 for customs fee. So it wasn't worth it. So all I'm saying is that sometimes when you see these bargains, unless you know it's definitely coming from the UK, you've got to be very careful, especially with the EU now, because I think this is a part 
of what is to come. You're looking for cheap deals. If it's coming from out of the country, you're likely to be landed with a customs bill. So I don't know if that is the reason. Sometimes I've bought wigs from abroad and sometimes they, um, sometimes I get charged a custom fee. Sometimes I don't. I don't know if it depends on the customs personnel. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, sometimes if they put gift on the packet, then you don't pay. And some caring, um, what you call it, business people, they'll do that. They'll put value one pound, it's a gift or something. And then you don't pay customs. But if they don't put anything, you're going to pay customs fee. So anyway, all I'm trying to say is just be careful because once you've paid for it, like I paid £36. It's not like I can go now say, oh, I don't want it. I'm, I'm going to leave it. Let, them, let it go back. Because £36 is a lot of money. And so you're kind of stuck. So I have to pay that £16.80 and get that product. I'm not going to be too happy with it. I doubt if I'll buy it again. I'll have to look for an alternative because I'm not going to be paying that much. That doesn't even last that long. Anyway, that's my little rant. I thought I'd share it with you because, you know, it's good to share information. You just never know. Somebody might be um, looking for something as we speak and they watch this video just in time to save them some money. And that's what I'm here for, to help raise awareness and save you some money. Bye.